Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Hi friends, we are back today with our book Living Spring by Emmanuel Vrushika Shavir. And I'm Rihanna Valencia, your host, and we will be discussing chapters in Living Spring every Thursday. Um, I think it's 12 a.m. or 12 p.m. Um, in you in America time and then 6 p.m. in South Africa. Today is a chapter, it's 56, where Emmanuel is coming to discuss Be Born Again Now and he's quoting from John 3 verse 3. <clears throat> And um, this was said by Jesus. And I tell you the truth. No one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. And Emmanuel is explaining. Nature holds valuable lessons, lessons in this respect. Years passed with ma mathematical precision. Nevertheless, each day is a new day. Since people have 365 opportunities per year to learn and to start again, how many opportun um, opportunities for moral renewal will there be in the blessed period of an entire lifetime? So Emmanuel comes and is explaining how many opportunities, beloved friends, you and I have to renew ourselves. And if we look at it in this way which Emmanuel is explaining, then don't you think that we are so blessed <clears throat> to have the opportunity every morning, every day, every second of the day, to have an opportunity to renew ourselves. Keep what is good and just, beautiful and worthy from your past. But do not hold on to the darkness and the detritus, even when they are disguised in enchanting clothing. So Emmanuel is telling us, when we look at our past, keep the good and just, the beautiful and worthy. But let us not concentrate on those things, enchanted in enchanting clothing. So what is he meaning by telling us this? He's, he's explaining to us that we shouldn't, um, what is the word, nostalgic, I think is the word. We shouldn't focus on things that makes us um, want to go back or think that it was better or um, things that we, we left behind. We should focus on the now. We should learn from the lesson and be thankful for everything that we, we went through. But in this moment, you and I should look at where are we now? And we should always, like Vanessa always reminds us, bless our past. We should bless it and be thankful. And the only thing that we should focus on is the good thing. To see how we have changed. Each new hour may bring re readjustment. Sorry. Um, in your endeavor of true fraternity, do your own share. Do not shoulder your spirit, ben benefactors, and friends with it. What he's saying is that we should do the work and we should focus on the work sorry and we should focus on the work um, to do our, something ourselves and to not let the spirit benef benefactors and our friends do all the work he said shoulder which means sometimes you and I should focus in working 
towards something ourselves. Not always asking for help. Of course we can ask for help. But if we focus on things that is good, and if we focus our will in ourselves, we can do it. And remind yourself, I can do this. I can do it. Each new hour may bring readjustment. Think about it today, beloved friends. Each new hour, Emmanuel says, is, can bring readjustment. It is in being a bit more patient, a bit more loving. If possible, do not put off till later the ties of peace and love you can create now by replacing the heavy shackles of disaffection. Don't put off anything, especially if there is something that we should look at to change, to maybe make peace with someone. There is so many things that sometimes we think we can do tomorrow, but if it comes up in a thought, we should do it now. It is not easy to break our old um, preconceptions about the world or open our hearts and forgive those who have hurt us. Sometimes we are stuck in all perceptions. But through spiritism and through Jesus' teaching especially, we are shown the way to renew our perception about things, about how to look at things. So in every lesson, in every teaching, in every study, there is something, something that we can take that can help us to focus on something new so that we can renown, let go of the old things that sometimes we hold on to. Um, nonetheless, the best antidote against the poison of aversion is our goodwill towards those that hate and misunderstand us. Beloved friends, in this life, all of us will go through some adversary that will misunderstand us. And it is good for us to make sure that people not understand because sometimes they just won't understand. But that there will be a peaceful way between you and someone sometimes. That is maybe difficult. And sometimes when you can't speak to someone and you know that a conversation won't help, then pray. But let's give love. Let's pray. Let's always wish the other, the other person well. While we are um, holed up in our defensive fortress, our adversaries think of ways to come up with more immune ammunition against us. So we think we are protected. But if we don't focus on giving, giving our good, giving our good thoughts in prayers. And of course, like Chico Xavier always told us that, of course, there will be adversaries for all of us. Some that came from the linear of all of our lifetimes. But this is why we should look at our feelings and our thoughts and we should bless and we should pray and we should give this to God so that we don't only help ourselves but we help every soul that is around us. However, if we face the situation fearlessly and calmly, 
in all situations. And this is why it's so important for us to study. Because again, when we read this, and we are reminded to face the situation fearlessly. Emmanuel is telling us fearlessly. Now, there's a lot of things going on on earth, but we should be fearless. We should totally trust in God. And calmly. To be fearlessly and calmly means that we trust. We totally trust your path and God in all things that is happening. Showing a new attitude of in the conflict. The idea of peace replaces the dark fermentation of war inside and around us. So if we are calmly and fearless, Emmanuel is telling us, the idea of peace replaces the dark fermentation of war inside and around us. So if we are in a situation and we are calm, regardless of the other person or whatever is going on, attitude or aggression, the situation will change to peace and understanding. This is something that we should visualize by practicing, especially when there is someone that maybe we have a hard time communicating with. So that in our minds we can practice being peaceful and loving and not judging and understanding. And sometimes it is to just listen without getting upset if that person is upset. Just listening in peace. And then telling them that I hear your pain. I hear your pain. And I love you. Maybe that is the only words they need to hear. Has someone offended you? Exercise understanding once more. If we feel offended, beloved friends, we still have this ego that is a bit not under control, our self. Because as soon as we think I am offended or I am being um, neglected or whatever the situation, it is about you. We should look at situations and not in the I form, but in the we. And the serving way of being. As someone must understand you, sorry, <clears throat> persevere in demonstrating the best intention. How can I help? How can I serve? It is beautiful to read the prayer of St. John, where he says, Let me give and not want to receive. If we can have a mindset of giving without receiving back, regardless of a situation or a person, then this is what we can do at Emmanuel's telling us. So this should be our prayer, especially when we don't feel it in that way. And then we will repeat it like an affirmation. The prayer will be our affirmation. <clears throat> Revitalize yourself each day in the crystal clear and incessant stream of the good. Revitalize. Which means that we receive vital energy if we focus on the good. Do not forget the Master's word. No one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. And then Emmanuel says, be born again right now. Regarding your objectives. What is your objective? What is my objective, beloved friend? If you can focus and I can focus in every moment of the objective 
of spreading the good, of being of service, and the I that is not there anymore, to be of service, then we are born again. Born again into a new way of doing things. Born again into a new way of thinking. Born again in a way of seeing things in a good way. Seeing the good. Resolution and attitudes. Working to overcome the obstacles around you and anticipating the victory over yourself in due time. So the, the victory and the born and to be born again, it is to, like Emmanuel is saying, the victory over ourselves. <clears throat> Which means that we are in a war, not against people and things around us that is going on, but against our own feelings and thoughts that we should overcome. It is better to help today than to be helped tomorrow. These last words of Emmanuel is saying that if we work, if you do not neglect focusing on the good, you will not need help tomorrow. But if you work to help, we won't need help. Because we will be vitalized by the spirit mentors that are around us constantly if we focus on the good. This is a very beautiful chapter again. And this is why we are so thankful for all these teachings that come through God at Radio. Because it truly nourishes our soul in a way that we can focus on the good. We can practice it in a great way that not only help ourselves, but help us to help others. Thank you so much for joining me again today. And we will see each other next week, God willing. Thank you, beloved friend.